Welcome back to Tag Across Europe. You're watching episode four, so make sure you're caught up on episodes one through three. Or don't, I'm just a disembodied voice. To recap, the game ends when a runner reaches their end location, or at the end of 72 hours when the wind goes to whoever's end location is closest to the current runner. Right now, it's the morning of day two. Ben and I just caught Adam here in Massey Palace U. That means Ben's the new runner, and he has 45 minutes to get out of Paris before we can start chasing him. The only problem is, getting out of Paris is going to take him at least an hour. Okay, I just need to get on any train. This is not a great spot. There are not that many actual trains out of here, so I think I need to get on an RER and get uh, to a better station. I got you a pain au chocolat. Oh, merci. He's still up there. Okay. I mean, the question is, I'm not sure what he's going to do. I mean, he's got to do a challenge. He he doesn't have like any money. I think what right. he's going to have to do is go to Paris and yeah. try to do a challenge and take evasive action. All right. So really, the only stations that have trains to the general direction I want to be going would be Gare du Nord or Gare de l'Est. Um, both of which are like an hour from here. So they're going to be chasing me before I even get on a train if I can. The station for him that matters is Garden Nord. Right, right. Yeah, that's what he has to get to. Or, I mean, yeah, Garden Nord. Arguably, we could just go to Garden Nord and he would show up there, I bet. Mm -hmm. It honestly wouldn't be the worst idea. Okay, that's my RAR. I'm gonna take this, and then I gotta transfer once, and then I'll be at. Uh, Gardu Nord, and I'm literally just gonna get on like the first train I can get on once I get there. Has he moved yet? Over here. Let's see. Still there. That's live. You know, Adam and Sam are over there, probably laughing up a storm, probably saying, Oh, Ben's not even gonna get out of Paris, so he just got on a train. First of all, that's the best I could do. Okay. Second of all, at least I'm not wearing a wig. Ben is very far from his location. He's the furthest of all of us from uh -huh. his location right now. And I'm almost certain he has the least coins. Yeah, I think we'll be able to get him relatively quickly. So I've looked at my train options and there's a 907 to Amiens. Uh, I would like just barely to make it to the station by then. I'd be cutting it real close, but there's a 919 to a place called Saint Quintin. I'm mispronouncing that. I'm very sorry. Um, but that is my direction. I can't afford that train, and it would line up pretty nicely with my schedule. Where does he go? North? No, north. Into the city? OK, good. I think that's what we want. We got, what, another 20-something minutes? Yeah, so about 20, 23 minutes, 24 minutes, yeah. I don't think that Adam and Sam would be able to catch me in the station before I got on that train. I mean, obviously, it's very close. Um, but that's exciting content, so. That's the best I can do for you. Uh, go. Okay. okay. I got him. Got him over here. Two minutes of full lift. Okay. Incredible work. it to uh, uh, Saint Michel. Um, now, I'm gonna dilly-dally a little bit here because the longer I can go without them knowing which station I'm going to, you know, the better of a shot I have of getting out of Paris. And look, let's be honest, it would be embarrassing if I didn't get out of Paris, right? Then one that I'll be going to Gary Nord is the very obvious place for him. He knows that we know that that is the most likely place for him to go. And it's possible that he will 
instead attempt to go like anywhere else. Maybe the humans that we know things. Okay, I've made it to Gardu Nord, and it's 9.07, so I've, I've missed the train to Amiens, but it's fine because um, the train to Saint Quentin, Quentin Alex, please forgive me, uh, is better anyway uh, because it's like a much smaller hub, so I think it's gonna, they're gonna have more trouble getting there, assuming that uh, the train leaves with me on it before they get here, which is not a guarantee. So now I just gotta figure out where that train is. He's a guard to guard. My guess is he will get on whatever train he can afford just yeah. to get out of here. You can imagine. That's oh, as much. It's 13. 13. Okay. 13. 13's over there. Oh, I just gotta get on this train. Just missing. Wait, did we? Yeah. Uh, let's get on this train. It turns out that asking um, where is train, where is train uh, in broken French in a French train station uh, is not very helpful, but I did make it on the train. Um, so I'm just praying. It leaves before Sam and Adam get here. How long will this take to get us there? Pretty quick, it's only one stop before Garden Lord, so I think we have a good shot of catching it right away. Wow. Poor Ben. Sus. This is a problem. There are no other trains I could get on right now. And I already spent my budget on this train. So I just have to pray the train isn't delayed a full 20 minutes. Oh gosh. Okay, we're here. So the station. Yep. Okay, it still shows him in the station. Specific choice to like it, yeah. I don't know what she said, but I hope it was like burg. I hope that's French for word. Heading out. We're not. So the yeah. name of the game. Let's not get seen. It's let's methodically search. We yeah. need to see him before he sees us. But this is tough doing an indoor search. Yeah. Because the tracker is not accurate. It's not accurate. And also, this whole place is huge. Yeah. Massive. And a labyrinth. I've got my backpack on. I see them coming down the train. I'm just going to hop off and speed walk away. I don't think that's going to get me very far, but I don't have any other options right now. Like, just to give you a sense of what's happening, there are stairs. There are this. This is massive. flat like this place. This is this is one of the biggest train stations in Europe. And I bet you anything, he's doing everything he can not to be found. Three minutes. I'm sweating. But he must be doing a challenge. I guess. So. I mean, it's, it's probably, I mean, we should definitely be like looking at shops and stuff. There are a lot of shops. Wow. So, this place is huge. The train is moving. Oh, I really didn't think I was going to make it out of here. It's looking good for Team Bam. This is going to be a lot harder than I thought. Yeah. He left. No! No. Where's he going? What train just left? Can we look at that? It didn't. They, I saw one that didn't show up on Google. On this. Crap. It was a P. I forget what it was. It was something with a P. Uh -huh. 
No, it's too late because it already left. And it's not showing it. Something with a P. Um, Something with a P? Okay, well, let's look at all the lines that leave from here. Looks like I'm gonna get into Saint Quintong um, at around 11. And according to what I can find, it seems like Sam and Adam probably can't get there until at least 1.30. But look, they're smart. I'm sure they can figure out some clever, crazy way to get there earlier than that. So I don't wanna stick around quite that long. He's not on this route out okay. of Perry Nord. He's on this route, but that's worse because that's, that's bad because there's like that's four where different ones routes from. that go that way. Maybe it's one of these. Ooh. I don't know what this H is, but it goes to Persson. It goes to Persson? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. 936. 936. That's, that's what he got. Okay, well, hmm. no, I think that's right. My strategy this time around is I'm going to try and go from relatively small city to relatively small city because I think they're just gonna have trouble predicting where I'm going and actually getting to the little towns where I am um, than if I were in a bigger city like Lille, which has a lot of ways to get there. Um, I don't know if this strategy will work, but we'll see. We just missed a train to Persson by one minute. It was no. at 10.01. No! It's at 10.02. <laughs> that sucks. Well, 10.34, so 10 we have 30 minutes. Let's get tickets. All right, tickets. Where's that? That's not this. Didn't go back to the map. He's way past their song. Shit. Mm, there was a 9.44 to um, left late from Guinea. Yeah, I left a few minutes late. But that makes sense because we were surprised was... he stayed here so long. Yeah, and that was, okay, let's check how, how we could get there. There's a 10.34. Let's get towards that. So 15? Yeah. Oh, nice. Man, here, close the door and look we'll anti social. Uh, yep, we go through some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going on the exact same route. That's perfect. Okay, great. Okay. The end's the new. Ah, uh, this place. I don't have a lot of time. Uh, it's it's nearly 11, and I want to get on a 12:15 train. So I'm gonna go try and pull a card as soon as I can, um, and hopefully it's uh, it's something I can manage to do here in, in under an hour. We will get there, assuming we're not also delayed at 12:16. Oh, so it's a good hour. I mean, that's a good yeah, hour it's an hour. Yeah, an hour 15. So he knows when he has to get out of there. Probably. I mean, there's always a question of if he'll be able to earn the coins to keep moving anyway. In order to get on almost any train, I have to earn some more. So it's time to pull a card. Oh. Eat the national dessert. We are in France, so the dessert we've chosen is profiteroles. I think profiteroles are pretty common. I bet there's somewhere here that I can get them. I'm gonna do some research. I'm gonna look around. It's not a huge town. Um, so hopefully it's not too far away. Um, and also I'm really hungry <laughs> again. So I could really use some profiteroles. That sounds lovely. Okay, see you in a minute. What are you doing, Sam? I'm uploading jet lag. We're filming this as season two is still going out. So what, what episode's going up today? This is um, episode four releasing mm -hmm. on YouTube, the finale releasing on Nebula. Hey, did you know that the episodes go up one week early on Nebula and you can sign up for just $14 instead of you? So I did a little bit of research. 
Um, it seems like there's a pastry shop that's literally right across the bridge here, like three minutes away. Um, so hopefully they have profiteroles. I, I don't think that profiteroles are like that uncommon. It's like every little town you go to in this country is like the most beautiful place you've ever seen. I mean, look at this. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's on the move, folks. Yeah, looks like he's going into the city, so he's doing a challenge, which yeah. is, is good, because that means he he's, doesn't have the budget and needs to earn mm -hmm. budget, but is bad because it means he's earning budget. Bonjour. Uh, Est-ce que vous avez des profiteroles? Profiteroles? Ça? No. Merci. They did not have profiteroles. Um, and I've been looking at other places that might have profiteroles, and I found a restaurant that has them, but it doesn't open until noon. And if I go there and try and get profiteroles, I don't think I'm going to make that 12-15 train. I think my best bet right now is to veto the card, eat the veto period, and just hope I am able to do a quick one before I get out of here. What I'm really worried about is the fact that Ben has a 12-16 train to Amiens, which is exactly when we're supposed to get in. Right. So I don't think we could, you know, make that connection. But the good news is we get into the station before Saint-Quentin, which is called Dernier, uh, at about uh, 12.10, I think. And there seems to be a 12.26 to Amiens. From there, it would get in only like 15, 20 minutes after him. That seems promising. That seems promising. The only problem is we would get to this station. We would get to the decision point before he would get on the train to Amiens. The only other possibility, and this would be another mistake, is like this train is actually a really quick way to get to Brussels. Right, but if we got on, if we did our plan of getting off early, yeah. He could get on this train. Yeah, because we're gonna have to and get to Brussels. We're gonna have to get off this before. It's almost it's a situation where like I think it would be a mistake because yeah. he probably thinks we're on this yeah, train going to Saint Quentin. But if he makes that mistake, he might actually win or get get away right. if we do our move. So it's like oof. Oh god. Let's let's get ready. Oh god. Oh god. Do should we get off? Um uh, I don't, I think, okay. Um, <laughs> so, hold on, there's a B. My veto period is complete. Um, I've been doing some thinking and here's what I'm gonna do. If I can't complete this next challenge, I'm stuck here either way. I just like, I don't have enough to get out of here. So I can't veto the next card or like I get caught either way. So in that spirit, I'm going to buy the power up that doubles my next reward or my next veto penalty because I guess my next veto penalty is gonna screw me either way. And with uh, with that active, I'm gonna go ahead and pull my next card. <laughs> oh no. Okay, estimate your city's population. I only have one guess, and if I am off by more than 25%, this card is automatically vetoed. Um, the good thing is this is a really quick one and it rewards a lot. The bad thing is that there's a very good chance that I get this wrong because I am not very smart. <sighs> okay, we're, we're basically there. We gotta decide. We're, oh, we have to God. get off here. Okay, um, you know Ben better. Can you get what if you went to Amiens? Where would he go next? Like, go, is there anything good? Um, I, I, don't, I don't know. We don't have time. To, we don't have to look it up. I look. It's a total guess, but my guess is that he would go to Amiens. Okay, we need to get off then. Oh, okay. Okay. Just so that you're clear on what we're doing, we have just gotten off a stop before. San Quentin, which is where Ben is, because there is a better train here that goes to Amiens, which is where we think he's going. But he could actually have a really good route to Brussels by just getting on this exact train when it gets to San Quentin. We are hoping that he won't do that because he'll think that we're on it. 
it, but if he doesn't realize that we should be on it, yeah, then he'll get on it. That was just like a pure flip a coin kind of thing. Oh, it is. It really could go either way. Yeah. I, it's I, like I, it's I, like three levels of game theory. Yeah. I've been walking around a little bit. I'd like to think that I've given myself some perspective, but um, unfortunately, it. I don't think it helps very much at all. So I think I just have to put in a guess. I'm just, the number 60,000 is calling to me. So that means if the population is between 45,000 and 75,000, then I will be correct. And otherwise, the card gets automatically vetoed and I'm in a one hour veto penalty, which would be rough. So let's find out uh, if I was right. Comment below if I'm a fucking idiot. Oh, my friends. Oh, Team Ben. The number that is coming up is 55,000. But that is within the correct range, which means I just got 2,000 freaking coins. And that means, what time is it? It's 11.53, I have time to get on that train to I can't believe I got that right. Okay, okay. Oh my God, oh my God, I'm getting on the train. I'm the best at this game. Sam and Adam are gonna lose. I'm going all the way to Borkum. Okay, he's at the train station. We will not know for 15 minutes. Which go. way he's going? There, there's the train leaving that Ben hopefully is not about to get on. God, if he gets on the train that we were just I on, that we so got off. Frustrated. Oh my God! Gun to my head, I thought this was the right call. Yeah. And, I, and and standing off the train now, I don't regret my decision. Okay, a little gameplay update. I got a little pano shock a lot. I'm here ten minutes before the train's here. I'm feeling good. I don't think that Adam or Sam. Could be close, but you never know. I'm so stressed. Uh, I hope we made the right decision. All right, off to. Wait until it's made some real movement. I mean, it's. No. It's starting to go north a little bit. I will say that. Yeah, it's still in the station. It could just be GPS error. But it, it's pretty consistent. No. No, no, oh, no, 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 no! If you want to see how colossally Adam and I messed up, then good news, you can watch the episode right now if you're a Nebula subscriber. If you're not a Nebula subscriber, well, listen to this because it's actually a really good deal. Every single episode we put out one week early on Nebula because the Nebula subscribers quite literally bankroll this channel. We do all the accounting. This channel would not break even if it was just for YouTube stuff. We rely on Nebula. We rely on our Nebula subscribers to fund this. And so that's why we put the episodes up one week early. And yeah, so you can see episode five right now. But there's also tons of other good stuff there. Like, um, oh yeah, there's all the originals that we've made. Like uh, this one that one. And uh, there's also all the other originals that all sorts of other creators have made, including like Real Life Floor, Real Engineering, um, you know, the two guests in the first two seasons of this, and plenty more. And then what's even crazier is that the best way to get access to Nebula, the best as in cheapest, in fact, it's cheaper than just going in through the front door and signing up directly to Nebula, is if you go over to Curiosity Stream. Because Curiosity Stream, when you go to our link, curiositystream.com slash jetlag, when you sign up on that page, only on that page, they'll not only give you a discount, so it's only like $14.79 for the entire year, um, not monthly, year, that's you know crazy cheap. And then they also throw in a Nebula subscription for as long as you stay subscribed. Curiosity Stream, if you don't know, it's a, another streaming site which has, you know, lots of long form documentaries and shows and, and nonfiction STEM stuff. Definitely the kind of thing that, you know, slightly nerdy people that like, you know, 
that like that kind of content uh, would, would uh, enjoy. We've even made some stuff for them that you can find on there um, and uh, plenty of others too. So it's a crazy good bundle deal. You know, not only do you get a streaming site where you can watch Jetlag one week early, not only do you, do you get a whole nother streaming site that has a huge library of great stuff, um, you're also supporting us. And then all of that costs just $14.79 for the entire year. So uh, you can click the button on the screen right now or head over to curiositystream.com slash jetlag to sign up. And um, if you do, thank you, because you help fund this channel. Bye.